you know, I think adhering to all expected ethical and you know, ethical requirements. Um, doing your own work. No, I think there's, I suspect most of us have seen people cheating who don't get caught. Um, have I ever cheated in my life? Huh. Way, way back, but I really have not probably since early high school. And um, Erica, for instance, is really talking about a very lax attitude in, fr in France about cheating in classes where people overtly trade answers. Nothing happens. My son was accused of cheating, and he hadn't because he just doesn't. And it, it was very, very awkward because he was accused of cheating because he was honest about something, because he admitted, oh my goodness, I have notes with me, and mm. turned them into the teacher. And the teacher then assumed he was cheating and fouled things up for him and made him feel wretched. I think it's a bad experience for everyone. Yeah, I think it, it, it degrades the value of, not, of doing your work. It, it diminishes the distinction between those who are ethical and those who aren't. Um, not doing things that personally make you feel guilty, that make you feel less of yourself. <laughs> well, you know, I, th I think there's, the, you know, the, if you're talking about, you know, am I going to tell someone they have a zit on their nose, you know, I think we all, uh, the courtesies of dishonesty, the social requirements of that, I think we all should adhere to. Uh, brutally honest people, um, that description is, uh, can be really pe pejorative. Uh, I had a resident who's from a odd religious group where absolute honesty, they'd tell you you had a zit on your nose, and it really caused her problems. On the other hand, I think when you, beyond that, I think for everything else substantive, you should tell the truth. There's a level of honesty that is just hurtful, that's unnecessary, yeah. <laughs> that's not the opposite of lying. It's, <laughs> I'd say, too honest. Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, it'd be hard to come up with a scenario where that would hold. Um, it'd be very hard to come up with doing the right thing, being you know having consequences that are stratified, you know, strategized. I mean, that's just when there's adverse consequences, it's because of a perversion of the system, not because it's a. You know, it's not because of a laudable aspect of the system, so. Experiences with being honest. Well, I'd say back to the, what I was talking about, my son's academic honesty thing. That by being honest, he got into trouble. Whereas, had he prevaricated, he would not.